Hey everyone, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farms. Today I'm planting out some globe amaranth in the garden and I just wanted to bring you along for the ride because globe amaranth makes a absolutely wonderful cut flower. You can use it fresh and you can also dry it for an everlasting flower. So it's really double your money when you go ahead and plant globe amaranth. You might have also heard this called gomprina. That's the same thing. It's native to Brazil and it really does prefer to be planted once things warm up. So what I like to do is start the seed inside about six to eight weeks before our last frost. And then I plant them out in the garden after our frost has passed and about two weeks have gone on. I really want the soil to warm up before I put these guys outside. They're a tender annual and they're gonna thrive once things are getting a little bit warmer out in the garden. Now I'm growing the Quiz series this year, Quiz Purple, and Quiz stands for quality in seed. But there's a lot of great um, globe amaranths that you can grow. Just remember that if you're growing one specifically for cutting, to grow a taller variety. The Quiz grows about 24 inches tall, and a really great thing about it is you don't have to pinch it. It just naturally branches. So you can cut from it all season long, and you also don't have to space it too far apart. I'm gonna space it about eight to nine inches, and as a cut, that's a good spacing for this particular type of gomprina. So I think that's all there is to say about that, except, you know, it's just really such a wonderful dried flower also, and I'm really seeing such a resurgence in using dried flowers all throughout the floral industry that, you know, I've grown a lot more straw flower this year, a lot more things, like even I'm planning to dry a lot, dry a lot of larkspur, and really want to jump on that bandwagon. And Globe Amaranth is definitely part of that group that makes a great dried cut, as well as fresh. So let's go ahead and plant these together. Well, I've got them all planted up, watered in, and I'm also going to mulch that area thoroughly this afternoon. And you know, it was just such a joy to plant this gomprina in the garden today because it really reminds me of my grandmother who always uh, grew globe amaranth for as long as I can remember. I can't recall if she grew the tall varieties that I like to grow, but I just remember using them mainly as, you know, a dried ingredient. And we would go to the nursing homes and we would make these tussy mussies with the residents using the gomfrina and other dried flowers. So, you know, even if I wasn't using them for cutting, I think it's a great uh, memorial to her in the garden as well because it's something that is really a flower that reminds me of her. So I hope that if you've never heard of Globe Amaranth before, if you've never grown it, or maybe you've only grown the short varieties, that it inspires you to grow some of these taller varieties for cutting, fresh and dried. And so, until next time, happy gardening. Bye!